Hey everybody, um, just going to do a little intro here for uh, my next uh, video series. Uh, I'm going to be playing through OCS Tunisia. Um, I love OCS, it's amazing. I think I discovered it maybe a year ago. I've only been playing more games for about two years now, so I'm definitely a little inexperienced. Um, I've improved a lot since the first time I ever played, but uh, um, I always seem to make one or two big mistakes that just ruins the entire game. So I'm hoping to make it through the whole campaign, but if my history is going to say anything, I'll probably screw something up and uh, one side will win early. So um, I started with uh, Baltic Gap, played that over Vassal um, a couple times, made a few fatal errors and lost. Um, I think then I got Burma. I've played little bits of uh, the Burma campaign. I usually leave it set up and then life gets in the way and then I come back to it and don't remember what was going on. So I don't really like leaving a game for that long and then uh, jumping back in. So kind of what I'm hoping this video series will help me with is um, just keeping focused and uh, give me a reason to, you know, come back to it at least once a week type thing so you don't get too lost as to where you were. And now I'll have video documentation to uh, figure out what the hell is going on too. So that'll be a positive. Um, really excited to play Tunisia though. Um, I wanted it for a while, but it was out of print, so I did end up finding uh, someone on Board Game Geek to buy it from, but um, it looks fun. It looks, uh, would have been a good intro game. Baltic Gap was a little bit uh, difficult to learn on, but um, also playing a vassal game of um, the Blitzkrieg Legend right now. Made a fatal error and lost when I was playing as the Germans, and now I'm playing as the French, which is looking pretty uh, difficult as well, so um, be interesting to see how these two sides handle um, in Tunisia. Uh, I don't really know anything about the game. Um, I know it's kind of a back and forth uh, in terms of who has the initiative, so to speak. Um, kind of the Germans are going to be on the back foot for a little while at the start, and then I think the Allies will or sorry, then the Germans, once uh, the uh, DAC uh, come in, will have a chance to push back. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think we'll, we'll take a little look, look at the map here, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so here's the map in all of its um, slightly ugly glory. I <laughs> uh, definitely like the art on the newer games more than this. This kind of looks uh, a little samey and washed out. I'm not really a fan of the colors. I mean, I'm sure the desert's not the most beautiful thing in the world either, but um, this is a little, uh, I don't know, a little hard to look at. It's no Burma. I love Burma's map. Um, so maybe we'll go take a little look up in the north here, um, where I think most of the action's going to take place right at the start here. Alright, so up here we've got our two main uh, objectives for the Allies. We've got Tunis here and Bizert here. Um, if the Allies can capture those uh, two cities before, um, I believe it's February uh, 1943, this game runs from November to May, November 1942 to May 1943. So if they can capture before February, uh, then they can have a sudden death victory. These are also the main supply sources for the Axis with a crazy port cap of six. Um, they also, you need to use these ports to bring in uh, units from the Sicily box here. Um, some advice I've been given about this game is to really hold these uh, mountain passes and crossroads. Um, I actually did play Tunisia once for about two turns when I first learned the game and didn't properly garrison those uh, crossroads and I was done on turn two. I think he captured Tunis on turn two and I lost. So um, hopefully I can prevent that from happening or I guess if I'm the allied commander talking, hopefully we can make it happen on turn one. Um, but I think for the interest of our video we'll, we'll hope it lasts a little longer than that. Um, we'll take a look down south here as well where we've got 
the Merith line right there. So I think that the Germans, uh, they'll come in down here, the uh, Rommel, and uh, will make his way up up to Bizer Tunis to fight back the Allies there, or whatever the heck I decide to do with him. Um, but then the Germans can garrison here at the uh, at the Marath line. Take a look here, and um, try and hold off uh, Eighth Army when they come in. I can't remember when Eighth Army comes in, but it's a little bit delayed, and you have to um, successfully roll on the on the dice to have them enter the game. Um, looks like you know good position. There's some depth depth to the defense here, but if we zoom out a little bit, there's also a nice uh, main road. All the way around here, so um, have to keep that in mind. Uh, I'm sure for supply purposes, though, that'd be that would be tough for the uh, the Allies to do. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, anyways, really excited to play this. Hopefully, I can get the counters set up in the next uh, next day or so and get started. Um, anyways, uh, if anybody has any tips or anything, um, please comment on YouTube or Board Game Geek. I'd like to see what anybody has to say. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so uh, before we get started setting this up, I'd just like to let everybody know I'm going to be using um, version 4.1 of the rules. Uh, the game came with version 2. Um, I haven't ever read version 2. I don't know a thing about it. So we'll be going with this. I've also been advised that this will work uh, well with Tunisia. Um, one uh, note on the rules is that uh, I'm going to be using a rule for the ports. I think it's a house rule, optional rule, I can't recall. Um, uh, where if the port is in an enemy zone of control, then it can only be used as a trace supply source. Instead, uh, you won't be able to use the, uh, the CCAT for that hex. So um, the Axis will definitely have to keep the, the allies away from those ports. Um, they want to keep the supply flowing. Um, I was also thinking about uh, maybe tutorializing some of these uh, these videos I do. Maybe you know cover one bit of the rule rule book for, uh, during each uh, each video. Um, I'd like to get people's opinion on that, um, whether you'd like that or not. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, you know, video one I could cover the uh, different kinds of movement, uh, different movement, uh, like truck, track, and, and leg movements, and, you know, interaction with terrain and stuff like that. Uh, video two could be combats, um, you know, terrain modifiers on combats, and uh, all that kind of stuff. And then video th uh, three, we could talk about reserves, you know, break it down that way, however it may be. Um, I kind of did a similar thing with my last video series of France 40, I kind of just felt natural to me to do it. So I'm thinking, you know, this would be could be a good tool for people new to OCS. Um, there's a lot of good uh, written content for uh, help learning OCS, but there's not a ton of videos. So um, yeah, it could be a help to, to new people. I really would have appreciated it when I started. Um, let me know what you think, whether it's a good idea or whether I'm a complete maniac. Um, I know I am, but, you know, still. <laughs> um, yeah, so, gonna get this set up, uh, hopefully have a, a video out in the next uh, couple days of uh, how it starts, and there you go, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes, hopefully not horribly. Um, anyways, thanks for watching everybody.